Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to talk all about call ducks so you can decide if they're right for your homestead. Oh my gosh, look, it's so cute. Oh, he's so tiny. I remember I first found out about call ducks when my husband went on a search for what type of duck we should add to our homestead. And where did we find them? On Craigslist of all places. They were so tiny and adorable. They looked more like a plush toy than a real live animal. I'm a sucker for miniature animal breeds, so needless to say, we soon brought some home. The call duck is a miniature duck breed weighing in at an average of 20 ounces. They got their name from being used as a decoy for hunting. Duck hunters would use the call ducks loud vocals to lure prey to them as they hunted. So it was like their duck call. Although the use of call ducks as decoys has been banned in most areas, they are still an excellent breed to have around. They are now one of the most popular show breeds due to their incredibly cute appearance. So what are call ducks good for? Well, that depends on what you want them for. They are excellent egg layers, and it's always fun to hatch out some eggs on the homestead. They're typically in the incubator for about 28 days. The hatch rate on these was about 50% but that could have to do with the fact that this was the first season that our call ducks laid any eggs. When it comes time for the ducklings to hatch, they do oftentimes require assistance because of their short beaks. So I would just take a small pair of tweezers and gently pull away the shell every few hours. Because these ducks are such a special breed, they are a little bit more pricey than other varieties, and I've seen ducklings sell for up to around $30 a piece in my area. They come in so many different beautiful color varieties, but the most common are black and white, with white being the most popular. Because of their small size, they don't need as much room as other types of ducks. We built this small coop for them and added hardware mesh underneath the enclosed area in the back to protect them from predators. As long as they have access to fresh grass and water they can get into, they're super happy. They are extremely cold hardy, and as long as they have an enclosed shelter, they can weather the winter well. They do well in hot climates too, and like I said, they love swimming. Any chance I get, I stick them in this tub, and I love watching them swim and splash around. They're so entertaining. They can free range as long as they're trained to return home. When we first introduced them to their coop, we had them stay in it fully enclosed for about a week or so until they learned that it was their safe place. They can fly well, but they're gonna stick around when they know that they have access to food, water, and shelter. Like most ducks, unless they have lots of human interaction, they tend to keep their distance a little bit more so than chickens would. Well guys, thanks for watching this intro to call ducks video. We absolutely love having them on the farm and I hope you'll give them a try too. I'm gonna link an easy DIY duck coop build in one day, but you'll have to forgive me because I think I didn't talk much during that video because it was my first video. But anyways, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time.